Okay, back in we go. Yes, we do. Hey, YouTubes, I'm Grimwit. This is Since, a cyberpunk ghost story. And things have picked up again. For how long? We don't know. It hasn't crashed in a while. Cool beans. Um, needed a QA team. But uh, we've gotten pretty far. Meats has been helping out. Go ahead and kill the music and jump back in. That is one thing. Uh, not just one thing. There's so many things. But uh, this game doesn't have much in the way of music. Kind of bothersome. Uh, I got kind of trapped in here. So in order to... Oh. Oh. Wait, where did I get this key? Wait, hang on. Where did I get this key? Oh yeah, it is Sally's key. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, so crazy cat lady has gone crazy. Uh, turned into a cat and started attacking. I have no idea. With so many other friends, why is she so angry? Probably because, like, the dismembered body of the only person she ever loved was in the trunk under her bed or by the foot of her bed might be a good indication that something went wrong. Oh, hi. Let's see, all of these clothes were at one point very expensive, high fashion brands. Even this key powell is beautifully handmade is a yeah, is a beautifully handmade dress. It's similar to the one the old man got me for my twentieth birthday. Oh, she's over twenty, confirmed. If the boobs didn't, you know, warn you enough. This girl had a very fine taste. Um This right here is pretty damn disturbing, I gotta say. Is that her actual body? You know what kills me is the fact that she's sitting on a throne surrounded by other tiny dolls. Um. It's some kind of semi-creepy shrine to a human-sized doll. Of course it is. I probably shouldn't have interacted that last time. <laughs> Oh, come on. Everybody's got to be a double G. Wait, cycle selection. What's now the other selection? There's a nail on the wall. A photo is missing from the spot. Where did the doll go? Shit, the lights are out here too. Oh, hi! Fuck. Uh. Whoop. What? Why are there so many of you? Hey, I got an item. I don't know what it is. A strange doll. A human-sized doll. It's surprisingly light. You know, I just keep it in my... Um... The kettle is exactly what I need to do. Steam this journal's open pages. I knew it! I knew we'd be doing this. It still needs to find some running water, though. That's... Oh, damn it. That's not the right button. Aw. Where's the kettle? There it is. 
An empty stainless steel kettle. It's in a great shape after all these years. Also, please note, it's not on my menu, but I'm looking at it. What am I going to do with a human-sized doll? I remember running water. Yeah, me too. I'm running towards the running water. There we go. I can fill the kettle here. Uh, is it is it full of water now? Yep, full. All right, cool. All right, there was a working stove. It's actually been a couple of working stoves, but there's one in the cat lady's house, which means we're going to have to get past the cat lady. Hey, I finally got to use my sword. Hey, crazy cat lady, how you doing? Bye. I can boil water and the steam will loosen up the glue in the pages of this journal. Let's do it. All I need is a bit of weight before the water gets hot enough. Oh, shit. Finally. Uh, item added. Not sure. Well, pardon me. Uh, oh, okay, that was dumb. Okay, wait for it. And run past her. Bye! This is exactly why I hate this neighborhood. Okay, we're safe in Sally's room, I guess. Darn it, that was not the button I wanted to push. A hair, a lock of hair. Oh. Neatly tied in a small piece of fabric. You want... Okay, so a long time ago, my wife gave me a lock of hair. I actually asked for it. I have no idea where it is. <laughs> now that she's passed on, I would like to see it again, but I'm not completely attached to it because here's the thing with locks of hair that I didn't know about that I'm about to tell you. It doesn't feel or smell like act like a real living body. Like first off, it smelled like dust because I had it for years, and it feels like I I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't feel like hair anymore. Like eventually, even locks of hair decays. This has been here for locked sealed in that that thing for a hundred years, and hmm. What can I do with a lock of her hair? We can try to use it to exercise her. I don't know if it'll help. When I was at an elementary school, I had a rat tail. My mom still has it in a box with me and my brother's baby teeth. Not, not sure if creepy. Wait, wait, wait. Back, 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 wait. The spirit will, must be inhabiting that doll. I need to be careful and seal her inside of it in order to complete the exorcism. All right. Please don't move again. I just need to finish the exorcism now by making an offering. But I need a photo of Sally. Huh. Oh, what am I doing? Hang on, hang on. There are photos of her over here. No? Those don't count? I mean, we should probably check Joan's uh, room again. I actually have a couple of my own teeth and a couple of pretty personal items that I've stored away in a box somewhere. I don't think this is normal, and I don't really care, but uh, they're actually not what you think. Um, they're just little personal items that crop up here and there. Like, uh, okay, I got my last baby tooth. I got the f all the teeth that have been pulled out as an adult. That really counts up to two, a wisdom tooth and a, uh, a molar. Uh, I've got my brother's chain necklace, which I probably hold more dear than he did. 
Uh, I've got a set of tarot cards that uh, my sister gave me. Did she give me those? Well, she gave me the raw cotton that surrounds it. I don't remember what else is in there. I'll have to find it again. Um. I know you're in this room. I can tell you don't want to hurt me. I just want to see you. To know that I'm helping. Uh, I didn't realize that was something that I could do. That was an accidental button slip. So, good to know it worked. Yeah, that's still broken. Yep. Was there anything down this way? I can't remember. My hope was to find a picture of Sally. I think someone downstairs has a picture of her. I don't mean the fourth floor either. Okay, now we know who that bitch is that she's helping out now. Huh. I was hoping to find, like, a guess as to who's got a picture of her. I guess we could check in here. Although I consider this room dangerous and I don't know why. Yeah, there's a 10 again. Don't need that. There's a picture of that woman again. I believe that is, oh, mm, that's Brian Mack's uh, wife. And Fei Fei, that's Fei Fei. So that's the picture that we've been seeing all over the place. Yeah, yeah, her that just kind of flashed before my eyes like a apparition, which is in fact what she is. Hey, it just so happens I have a pry bar for this. The compartment is full of documents. There's a map labeled gambling room with names around the table as well as a note. There's also a beautiful jade brooch. I'll be taking that. This map looks like an elaborate plan for something. Everything I need is in the freezing cooking tin. Cookie tin. You will make our clan proud, Brian. Something isn't right here. Hey, I got a jade bagel. Uh, there's the brooch. Oh, that's a jade brooch. Here's a lock of hair for raisins. Here's a gold bracelet. Hmm. There's a couple of offerings. I don't see any more joysticks. Wait, 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 no. I'm not done yet. Wait. Jung's will? How have we not seen this? To whomever finds this letter, this is my last will and testament. Though in a few though I have few belongings, I have worked hard in order to save the money. Necessary to give children who went through what I did a better chance. Please sell everything you can and donate the money to the International District's Home for Children. Make sure to speak directly with Miss Hu Rong, as she has already been informed of this plan. There's a lockbox under my bed. The money inside should be donated to the IDHC as well. The remaining gifts should be given to Sally. Even if it's late, this is her birthday gift. Well, now we gotta put that on the doll. Note from Father Yip. Lockboxes aren't safe. Okay. How did I miss the will? Maddie Mao's diary. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I thought I'd find a picture. Oh, can I get that tin now? I should pull one of those chairs to stand on. Yeah, here we go. 
This must be the cookie tin in the note referred to. Use the brooch. What? Why am I using the... It's a cookie tin. Why am I using the brooch? Huh? Another gun? Another? Where'd you get the first one? Hopefully the police don't show up while I'm carrying this. Actually, fuck it. You'd be out of the building. An MK-211 submachine gun. It's slightly rusted, but it looks like it's in working order. If it's slightly rusted, it is not in working order. Hell yeah, I'll show those ghosts what for. I was slightly afraid I'd have to start shooting ghosts, but... Uh, nope, still got the sword. Is this really what you want to be listening to, Jeong? Come on. Get some peace and quiet. So the lockbox is what I got earlier. I could make an offering here since I don't see a shrine in this apartment. Yeah, let's make an offering. This guy deserves a rest. He doesn't want me to make an offering? Why? Oh, because this woman is still, you know, trapped. He's got a thing for Sally. Let's do this for Sally instead. You know, during the week I was listening to the book, of, uh, the Tibetan Book of the Dead to listen to their uh, rites and rituals for when someone dies. It's... There's apparently a lot to uh, Tibetan cosmology. Along those same lines, since I had mentioned it last week, I did actually find a book that I have on Taoist mysticism. I have never read it. But I knew I had it somewhere. I had to dig in the, uh, the shop for it. Let me at least put this uh, bracelet on the doll. No? But it was going to do that. Who would have a picture of Sally? Besides Sally or Jeong? try downstairs I mean a couple of people were a client from this uh, is that chain lamp swinging in the wind it's a pretty light lamp anyway some of the people were her client here I've got questions all over the place. Who would have pictures of Sally? Brian would, but we were just in his... No, he wouldn't. He'd have pictures of Fei Fei. No, surely the doctor wouldn't. Huh. I'm going to the storage room, by the way. That's why I'm taking the long route. There is no short route to the storage room. Seeing if I've missed anything in here that might be related to Sally. Oh, shoot. Well, I got that again. I had a spare, I guess. 
The game reminds me a lot of Lone Survivor all of a sudden. You played that right. Yeah, I did. I actually have part of a Let's Play for it, but I quickly lost interest in it. And I think we mentioned this last week. Save progress. How many Betamax tapes do I have? Two. Eh. I'll just do it this way. There we go. Nice and cheap. Um... We've got a couple of weird things so far. We've got that Japanese ghost that we still don't know much about. What's, what was her name? Maikiko? No, that wasn't her name. We really don't have any information on her. It feels like we're paying more attention to Sally right now. Sally and Jeong. They're the ones that I guess I need to be watching. You know what really turned me off from Lone Survivor? You had to eat. And the stuff that you had to eat was always pitiful, which I guess is kind of the point. Like, a, a saltine cracker was one of the things that kept you from starving. And as somebody who's uh, tested a little bit with... Um, with uh, fasting, I, I know how much a saltine cracker can look delicious. But, yeah, it's kind of a chore. And you never actually knew if you would have enough food. I, I don't know. Um, let me check their bedroom. Suki would not have this. What's in here? Nothing. They probably wouldn't have anything like this, but I figured, why not? I'm a little lost right now. I don't think it's it's as bad as having to backtrack to the first floor. I don't think I'll have to do that. If I have to do that, then I'm assuming I'm doing something wrong at that point. Although the big long backtrack was pretty bad, nothing else has ever been that bad. So, let's try... The Japanese woman's room. I couldn't find, like... I don't know if there is an answer to Lone Survivor. Because a lot of it is like, um... What happened? Is it all in the guy's head? I don't think you're ever given an answer. The atmosphere was dead on, though. God, the atmosphere for Lone Survivor was just a brilliant. Oh, that was the wrong one. Do I have anything to cut hair from a distance? Back scratcher again. I could shoot the hair. Hair shears. I don't. That's right. I need some. I have a sword. I need something that'll cut hair far away. I don't even remember what that is. Kimono trunk. Kimono. This hair door, which I'm not sure about. Can a gun cut hair? Probably. So this hair door... Let me see if there's some kind of trick. Use scissors. Alright, give me a shot. Let me can't cut the wrong one. I have... No clues as to what I'm supposed to cut here. Which is why I think this requires some kind of, I don't know, thing. Damn it, wrong button. I'm... Uh, 
All right, all right. Let's go back to the fifth floor and dick around. We'll leave Mao alone for now. Go this way. I can't remember if there was anything this way. There wasn't, was there? That's right, because this door was completely blocked by the rubble. Uh, what? Jaom? It seems like he wants something. I don't know. Hey, Mal. Let's go mess with Mal's uh, chair or uh, trunk. Hey, Mal, I'm fucking with your trunk. A lock of hair and a ribbon tied together is part of the shirt. This is Harold's body. Burn the lock of hair. Or make offering. I don't know. She said it was an accident. I don't know if I want to exercise her or just settle her soul. This looks interesting. I mean, both end up doing the same thing, right? And I have the ability to exercise her. But I kind of feel for her. Like, uh, all right, all right. I know she's a bitch. I don't know how Harold died. She's not a bad person. Does she deserve to be exercised? Huh. But also, do I have enough offerings? Or is the offering for Harold? Shit, I don't know. Also, hi, Captain. I, I'm gonna make an offering first. Please, I'm trying to help. I have three offering cups. I don't think that did much. Eh, burn lock of hair. That seemed to have worked. I just, I want to know what happened. What happened to Harold? Okay, that's where another bangle is. Oh! Curtain physics! Cool! Pity we can't see it because it's so dark. Oh, all the cats are gone too. Is that good? Is any of this good? Table's covered in matter. Like, I put her soul to rest, but... Ray? Sounded like he was beating her, so she went to yeet for some help and, uh, accident. Was he beating her? I didn't catch that. Hey, hang, hang on. Like, I read the whole thing. Did I just miss it? Am I... Okay, it's gonna be towards the end, right? Okay, Harold got mad again tonight. Some people would accuse him of being a monster, but he's my Harold. More distance, didn't approve the relationship, but I hope. Did he cheat on me? I'm having. Is he having second thoughts? Oh, oh shit! I did miss this. He shouldn't be hitting me. He got so mad this time. I couldn't let him go. I just. I'll ask Mr. Yeep what to do. He can help me. You're, once again, meets, you're right. You're seeing stuff I'm not seeing. That's a shame. I feel bad for her. 
She finally found someone to love, other than cats. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. For some, that's kind of a reader. Seems like you really hate... No, I don't. I read the whole thing. I just missed it. The words came out of my mouth, and I did not see it. Hear it. I don't know. Also, I believe she was a trans woman. I don't know where you get that. I did not pick up on that one. So, Jaehyung is waiting for something. Let's go check his apartment. Well, really, I'm going to check the hole from the other side. That's what I'm going to do. She says, I told Har Harold the truth. He said he already knew. That could mean anything. <laughs> I could be like, oh, I have AIDS. <laughs> Sally references Mao as an outsider who wants to change herself. That could also mean anything. First line in the diary, I'm not like daddy wants me to D. This is who I am. But that could mean... Oh. Oh, shit. Hang on. Let me read that again. Because that might actually not mean just anything. My name is Maddie. I don't care what daddy says anymore. Oof. I would be pretty dense if I said that could mean anything. Oh, uh, Jang, you should be listening to music now. Here, here you go, buddy. Being trans in the 80s was weird. On the one hand... Nobody really cared, but on the other hand, everybody sort of cared. I don't know. Pretty sure what that's what they're going for. No, I believe you. I believe you. Now. It just... But I should have caught on to that first line. I have some really bad gaydar and really bad transdar. Hey, Jiang. It's a, it's a lovely hand you have there. I have no idea what you want. You want some gotcha coins? How about a back scratcher? I know it's hard to... Well, no, I guess it'd be easy with your long arms. I was going to give you this bracelet so you could give it to Sally, but she's not taking it. We didn't have the surgery until the 90s, though. Yeah, I remember that. So, mostly, a, uh, a trans person would more be like a... Um, what's the word... A transvestite. Not the same as a transgender. I Actually, no, not the same as a transgender. Because then you had people like Ed Wood, who was a transvestite, but he didn't mind being a man, and he loved women. He wasn't gay. He just liked dressing up in women's clothing. I don't know. It's a complicated subject. Identity in general is. I was here earlier. Mm. Yeah. Male tomboy Eddie Izzard. Eddie Izzard is definitely transvestite, but he's not really transgender. He's also amazing. <sighs> Look up Eddie Izzard marathons at some point. So, oh, that's that's noisy. You should turn that off. <laughs> oh wait, did I check the closet for a uh, photo of Sally? I guess I guess I did because I don't see it. Also, also, we have these notes. Oh no, we don't. We don't have the note letters anymore. Was that the will? Mm. 
Right, he's a straight man. He likes to dress up like a lady. Male tomboy. Huh. I guess so. I don't know what he's doing nowadays. I guess they would call him a tom girl. Huh. Yeah, he's probably also a genius. Uh... Okay, from the interviews that I've heard with Eddie Izzard about his movies, about his marathons, which is a fascinating subject, um, he does not strike me as being super intelligent. He is not dumb. But he's not a genius. He's very good at what he does when he does it. He's extremely good at improv. He does not repeat an act. He doesn't write down his acts before he goes into a... Uh, into uh, onto the stage every comedy special you see of eddie izzard is an original there isn't another like it because he's improving as he goes which you could probably guess but it doesn't stop him from being funny and that came from a ton of practice he was on the streets begging for scraps while trying to entertain people i don't know cool guy like george carlin George Carlin wrote his act. George Carlin was a guy who loved the English language. And he his all his stuff was very carefully made. Like uh, his long hair rhyme, which I love. They see hair down to there. Say beware and go off on a tear. I say no fair. Wonderful stuff. I'm lost. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not angry this time this is a different frustration i maybe i shouldn't focus on one thing right okay okay i just put maddie to rest george carlin adopted that that method of not repeating a show i believe you and he was popular enough that he could pull that off but he wasn't improv, is what I'm saying. Eddie Izzard is improv. Okay, this might be a long shot, but could there be a picture of Sally in the salon? She mentioned getting a haircut. That's not as much of a long shot as you think it is. Welp. Time to backtrack. Shall we sing the backtrack song? Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack. Gotta do this shit again. Backtrack, backtrack, goddamn backtrack. Or and or and or again. This game sucks. It's really painful. Got a sense of deja vu. I need a long form of this. Hey, good to see you, crows. I remember throwing firecrackers at you a long time ago. Love this run animation. Okay, okay. Mirror image of me is not swinging a sword. I demand sword swinging. Are we there yet? No. We're 12 miles at a long view. Okay, this might have been for nothing. Like, we don't actually know her pictures in here. It just makes sense that it, if it were. She was big into fashion. Here's a salon. This is it Jade Bagel? Okay. I'm not getting any prompts. So the reason I didn't do this earlier is because they really didn't give... Like, the last time the ba we backtracked this far, they didn't... They did have to give a clue, but they sort of gave a clue that, hey, you may have to backtrack this far. And that's fine. I just didn't think they'd do it again, and they didn't, as far as I can tell. We were just saying that we wouldn't put it 
you know, past them to do that. Oh, man, now I miss your mother. Me too, man. Her birthday was the other day. Yeah. Uh, uh, Josie and I kind of... It tore her apart, but... Uh, I kind of fell into a slump. Um, yeah. I don't know if it makes me a monster, but I actually kind of miss my wife more. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, one way or the other, care more about my mother or my wife. Drawer's still locked. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Okay, they didn't do... The nasty of putting a photo of Sally all the way down here. Now you're okay? Alright, thanks, man. I did have a dream of my mom uh, sometime in the last week. It wasn't anything particularly special. She wasn't giving me some special message. It was more like she just sort of leans in and says, you know, that doesn't make any sense. That kind of shit. Hey, here's Fei Fei. So there's a picture of Fei Fei. I'm not too terrified about mom, because, um, honestly, there were plenty of times when she wanted to go. I told her that was a selfish thing, but, I mean, <laughs> the last seven years of her life were kind of shit. Uh, okay, so we're going to um, get back upstairs to the fifth floor. I'm trying to remember how to get back there. Oh, yeah, crows. Been off doing dead people things. Ta-ta. Other worlds and all that. Wouldn't believe the number of cats they have over here. <laughs> but, um... I'm stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going... How many beta tapes do I have? I have two. So I'm going to use one of them on the fifth floor. And uh, then I'm going to call it good for the episode. I know it's short. It's not really a mystery hour exactly. But I'm also getting stuck very often with this game. And it's starting to bug me. This way? Oh no, it's this way. It's good to have some music in here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. The dolls are gone. Uh, there's something else here that I didn't notice before. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this Sally before the surgeries? We've got time. Also, just in case. Put a wall on the spot. Aha! Meat says. Yeah, I know. It's always in the last place you look. I think this goes here. I wonder why this photo was moved. Make an offering. Be at peace now. Feels like something's missing here. Yeah, her birthday gift. I think this is yours.
Something popped out of the bottom of the shrine. Oh, okay. Secret drawer has popped out. There's a journal and a very ornate pocket watch. Beautiful pocket watch. There's a picture of Sally on the inside cover. How much you want to bet this is Jones? Huge breasts, similar or something. Uh, simulator. Yeah, you know what? That's the first time I've seen a woman in this game that was not a G cup. This is Japan. No, sir. This is Hong Kong. Uh. Yeah, you know what? Let's read that journal. That pocket watch clearly goes to Jim. So that's what we're going to do with it. But first, let's read Sally's secret journal. It doesn't look like it's very long. It's the 80s. Jeong took care of me this week. He even took off from work just to do it. I want to tell him how I feel, but what if he rejects me? What if he says, get out of, kid. Get out of here, kid. You got no future. I just don't know if I can handle that kind of rejection. Because of my work or because of my dream. I wish he could see how perfect he is to me and how perfect I can be for him. Later in the 80s, no client for Valentine's this year. I'm finally going to go for it and use what the doctor gave me to get Jeong. My perfect life needs a perfect man. Even Maddie got a guy, even though he's kind of an asshole. He's an old client I got rid of for good reason. Maddie seems happy for now, so I'll wait to tell her until the, the seams start to show the, through that. He usually doesn't get rough until a bit further into the relationship. Who knows, though? He, maybe he changed. Uh, <laughs> he didn't. That's the 80s. Tomorrow's the big day. Big things are going great with Jeong. I even got him a present for my birthday. Wait, what? I even got him a present for my birthday. How crazy is that? Plus, with my newest adjustments, he won't be able to resist. I've been with dozens of men, but I've never felt this excited about a, fir a first kiss. Aww. It's the 80s. Stupid jerk. He lost points last night. But still. And finally, it's August in the 80s. Seriously, I, I seriously don't f like Fei Fei or her boyfriend. But Father Yip asked me to come to the party next week. Oh, I'm starting to pick up on what's going on here. And I owe him so much for those Viet Gang starting, started causing trouble for Madame and I. I guess I can afford a few hours, plus Jeong will be there. So whatever happened, whatever happened, happened at the club on the top of the building. Right? Like everybody's got their shit they got to deal with, but whatever happened to this place happened at the club. That's why nobody's body is really around. Asian women have smaller breast size because they have smaller bodies. Oh, yeah, probably. I don't know. I'm... Hmm. So I know that Japanese women, or at least the depiction that I get of Japanese women, they seem to be worried about breast size a lot, but I see them getting fairly regular breast size nowadays with, with this current generation. So, I don't know if they've got much to complain about, but I guess every, you know, every woman's looking for bigger breasts and every guy's looking for bigger penises. Maybe. I don't know. It was a party to die for. 817 is starting to look like a pretty, pretty pivotal date. Agreed. Agreed, because... Most of the uh, journals are stopping here. None of them have gotten to September of uh, 83. I'm very fine with the size of my breasts and penis. Thank you very much. All right, if you're happy. I'm generally okay with the size of my penis, too. I've been told it's got girth, but honestly, I've never cared about the size too much. And I haven't heard any complaints.
Hey, Jalen. Guess what I got for you? I have a watch. Doctor. Uh oh. Checkpoint reached. Let's use that checkpoint. Uh, I'd like to make it official. So, wait, are we on the sixth floor? The elevator isn't working. Also, I don't remember it being on the other floor, so maybe this is the only one that goes to the seventh floor. Must be some kind of unique pressure key necessary to turn the elevator on. No backsies. Yeah, pretty much. Your soul is mine. Nah, Jan's a pretty pretty good guy. So this is floor six. And I believe I'm in the southern hallway. Well, let's try a further on. Although there's still a ghost we haven't figured out yet. Door is jammed. Of course it is. It's raspberry. Only one man can give me would dare give me the raspberry. Lone Star. The call button isn't working. Door's locked. Sh sure would like a It's locked, but there's a note on the door as well. Mr. Yeep, I assume you are out preparing for tonight's party. Your replacement key is in my filing cabinet in the leasing office. Ask Mr. Guang in 601 and he will get get you to it. ED. Yeah, her feet do sound a little bit like, uh, I don't know, Star Wars special effects? The door is unlocked and the apartment is empty. In a pinch, I can hide here if I place the right kind of foo on the door. Well, let's get to placing. Wait a second, I have a foo. That's not fair, I have a foo. Oh, oh no, I don't have a foo, I'm out. <sighs> Did I use them all? I don't remember, I thought I just used, oh. Oh, I couldn't use uh, the Daishi's, um, or Dao. I couldn't use the Daoshi's Fu because it was his magic, not mine. I had to make one of my own. And I already used that Fu on uh, Sally's soul. This game's getting weird. <laughs> is that a, wait, is that a charm as well? Yes, it is. It's already a charm on this wall. And I'm pretty sure that's meat. Yeah, it's locked. Oh, the elevator blockage. Uh -huh. well, what the hell is that? It looks like flash. I need to find a way to get rid of whatever this is. Hmm. Use warding rice. Yeah, sure. Looks like I've weakened it. Use Taomu. Yeah, that's what it's for. Kick it down. Taomu, bro. Oh, fuck. I guess I need to get a, find a new one. Um, but I did get a new inventory. A broken Taomu. While it's still in, while it is still in one piece, the Taomu is badly damaged and unstable, unusable. Ah, oh, I don't have my sword anymore. I need to find a way to damage whatever this thing is. It feels similar to the Gaki in si the Sifu's apartment, though. Right. Okay, well, I just broke my everything on that. I don't think I'll be entering this room. There's a strange red string covering the door. I can't open it without removing the string. Though the string has a strange spiritual aura to it, I doubt it can be removed with just anything. This is how meats gets dirty right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See who's right. Come on, May. Don't let it get to you. 
There's a bunch of receipts from uh, Tacoma Casino in an envelope with something very heavy on the inside table. There's a key inside the envelope along with a note. There's a key. This Here's the key to my filing cabinet. Mr. Yeep's replacement key will be in the bottom drawer when it's done. I guess I should go back to the leasing office on the first floor. Yeah, I guess you should. There are several Taoist charts, but these differ slightly from the ones in Sifu's apartment. They appear to be from the opposite perspective. Ah, yes, of course. Where there's a yin, there's a yang. Uh, in a second. Oh, I don't need the jade butt bracelet. There's a small coffin roughly the size of a small animal. Like a cat. Um. In fact, there's a small claw marks on the side of the coffin. Did this Daoshi really do something so horrible? Why? Well, where there's a yin, there's a yang. A shelf full of gold books in traditional Chinese. There's also a scroll that looks out of place. I can read it more thoroughly from my PDA, but it appears to detail some kind of ritual involving burning of sacrificial organs. Though half of the scroll is missing, it looks like it was ripped off carefully. Mm. Okay, I got half of the manuscript. I doubt this is going to be in the journal. Let's check anyway. Yeah, yeah, it is in the journal. By burning the carefully preserved and consecrated organs of sacrifice, the, res the resultant ash is imbued with both power of the desired curse and the power of the sacrifice human's will. The ashes can be made to inflict powerful curses on whomever it touches or banish dark entities of many forms. Be warned, the ashes produced from this type of ritual are extremely dangerous and should not be handled by anyone but the Daoshi who created them. Oh, cool. Winchy, witchy, McBit, big tits. Yeah, that'll do. If I could do curses on people, like people I really would hate, I wouldn't do stupid things like, you will die in seven days, because I think that's really stupid. I would do things like, your pee will now always be carbonated. Just a bathroom. There's a shrine with items I've seen before. One looks decidedly darker than the other. There's also an offering cup with Joss. There's also an offering bowl here that I can burn anything I need in this safely. I don't need to burn anything yet. Oh. There are photos above the shrine. Is that Fu Sifu? Despite the decay, there's a very fancy bed. The tenant of this apartment was probably very wealthy. Hmm. There's a journal under the pillow. We're not going to read that right now. Most of the pages detail the daily life of Huang Hua Guang. There's also a key between the pages. Cool. All right. It's about an hour, and I'm starting to get mighty sick of this. So, I think what I'm going to do... I think... I'm going to go back downstairs, and I am going to use the quick save method of saving the game. And we're going to stop here. Um, yeah, it's past my bedtime anyway, but ah, uh, let's go ahead and call it good. So as far as YouTube is concerned, we'll be right back. To everybody else, stick around. Yeah, that was probably a sword on the wall. It's got to be like a special sword made out of peach wood or something. <laughs>